Hey, how's it going? A great to see you. This is an unboxing video that's a little bit different because I've actually already unboxed what I was going to unbox. I didn't mean to unbox it first, but I started unboxing it making a video outside and then we had a freak thunderstorm and I got absolutely drenched, so I bought it all inside to do the video again. So here's the box, or what's left of it, for the GoPro Volta battery grip handle thing. And... Um, we don't need that anymore because I've uh, completely shredded it. But it's it's a nice box. Anyway, let's actually have a look at the Volta handle grip by itself and see what it does. It's it's this thing here. I really like it. It's it's a nice weight, not too heavy. It's solid. It's got uh, neat little buttony things on the front here. It's got functional bits around the side and there and a cable and a lanyard and it's all really well put together. Let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. So here it is, the GoPro Volta. Now, Volta, of course, is the name of it because it is a battery grip, and it's got this connector here, which plugs into your GoPro and um, powers it. Now, the Volta is built specifically for the Hero 9 and 10. It will also work for the Max and the 8 and the 8 with the medium mod, but there's a couple of stipulations in here. The wired control will work with the 10 and the 9, but not with the media mod on. The wireless control will work with everything, but when you're setting it up for the Max and the 8, it needs to be set up as the remote. You won't have that Volta option. So just keep those things in mind when you're using it with the various different GoPros and configurations. It also doubles as a tripod, small tripod, so you can expand these legs out here and sit it down on the desk or wherever you're working, which is great. When you're using it as a hand grip, you've got these great buttons here. You can change mode, turn the power on and off. You've got the shoot button here, which you can use to get it going. It's got a Bluetooth button and it's also got a, a battery indicator button. Round on the side here, underneath the handy cable, it's got a USB-C port, and this is where you charge it up. On the other side, it's got this little neat button here, which pops these out, which gives you another action mount socket so that you can hook something else onto there, like put it onto a tripod or onto another mounting point that you might be wearing or have strapped to your motorbike. On the bottom of it is a standard quarter inch 20 thread so you can mount this onto any standard tripod kind of mount or anything like that. And the lanyard bit here is neat, it's actually elasticized which most of them aren't. So you can slip this around your wrist, tighten it up a bit here if you want to and it's not going to come off or pull away as you can see it's got a fairly good bit of stretch in it. The surface is a, a, a rubberized sort of grippy surface which um, GoPro have gotten really good at over the years with the actual GoPros themselves. It's the same sort of surface that you're finding on the GoPro face here. So you can hold it and you know it's not going to come out of your hands if you're like putting a bit of effort in and getting a bit sweaty. That's a really good thing to see. And when you mount your GoPro on top here you can also twist this around and change it 90 degrees either way. Just make sure that um, when you're doing that that you don't accidentally twist the cable socket in the GoPro and break the socket off because um, it would be stuffed in. You can't replace this, or at least not very easily. So let's take the GoPro now and put it on here and see how well it works. Now you do want to be careful to make sure that when you're mounting it you do point the camera away from the buttons on the back or otherwise you're going to have to take it off and put it back on again. Easy enough just to screw that in there. You're all familiar with how GoPro fits together on the mount or at least you should be by now. The spring-loaded cable at the back here just goes into the USB-C socket on the back of the media mount kit. If you don't have the media kit that's okay it'll go into the USB socket in the side of the GoPro. It even comes with this neat little extra door here so you can replace the standard door on the GoPro with this one here and this here's got a um, USB-C holder plug thing and it will go nicely in through there as well it won't be waterproof anymore but it will keep most of the elements out while you're using the gopro other things that come in the box of course are a usb-c cable for charging it with and of course a couple of really useful manuals that you should read back for back in every language so the two manuals the first one is of course the safety instructions make sure you do read these and don't let a 12 year old eat your gopro it could upset their digestive system 
The Volta battery grip manual user guide here is really useful. It goes through and details all of the different bits and pieces and instructions that are in here. It tells you how to charge it up and all that sort of thing, how the LEDs work, which um, are actually really difficult to see on the device itself, but they're, they're pretty much under the black surfacing there. Um, they come up and tell you how much charge you've got and what sort of mode you're running in and all that sort of thing. This page is instructions on how to replace the door and mount the GoPro on the handle, but you probably already figured a lot of that stuff out. It also shows you how to use it as a tripod, how to mount it onto other things and take the lanyard off, all of that sort of stuff. And also how to reset it if you ever need to. Now I will skip back here to one section in the manual which is really good and a lot of people don't realise about this is that you can use the Bluetooth to pair the handle with the GoPro and use it as a wireless control. So this means yes you can wirelessly use the handle to control the GoPro. So you can put the GoPro up somewhere where you can't reach even with the Volta handle and just use the buttons on there and the Bluetooth link to control it. So that works the same as the GoPro remote that we've been able to buy previously. Awesome. So now that I've got the handle plugged into the GoPro, you'll see that the charging light is on. That's great. So the handle's already charging the GoPro, and that's how this works. It doesn't power the GoPro directly. It just supplies more power to the GoPro's battery while you're using it. If I push the battery button up here, that will show you how much of a charge it's got. It's running two out of five lights at the moment. So I need to probably charge my handle up. That's fine. Now you may need to update your GoPro. You can do this by dragging down on the screen to bring up the control menu. Swipe sideways, click connections and connect device and the GoPro quick app. Okay, leave your camera on there. And in the GoPro quick app, just hit GoPro find the GoPro you want to connect to and click on it and it'll connect. There you go, connection is successful. It'll want to join your network and chances are there's an update sitting here so I'll click update there and accept. Now this is going to install the update files to the GoPro and this will include the feature that lets you pair the Volta with the camera, which we'll be able to do in just a moment. The gear comes up on your camera to show that the install is happening. The GoPro restarts. And after a couple of restarts, your GoPro is back up and running. Then we get a nice blue, blue tick on the phone to say it's all done. And it rejoins the GoPro's network. There we go. As it says, we're all set, so I can just hit the done button to go on. Of course, in the real world, that'll take several minutes to do, but thanks to the power of fast forwarding and really swift editing, it only took a couple of seconds. Now this is all updated, we can just put the phone aside, that's fine, and I'll plug the USB-C in. And now what I can do is drag down here, drag across and go to connections and you'll see that under connect device I've now got Volta as an option. So what I need to do now is just hold down the Bluetooth button on the Volta for 4 seconds and it comes up with connection successful. I should point out that the Bluetooth button on the Volta hand grip is quite difficult to push down. You need to put a fair bit of pressure on and you'll feel the micro switch underneath it engage. If you haven't felt that slight click with your finger, the button's not pushed in. Once it's there, it will need 4 seconds or so. And now, as you can see, the GoPro is being remote controlled from the handle. I can hit the mode button and it will switch between photo, time lapse and video as you might expect. I can still push this button and see what the power is doing and of course I can start and stop recording. All the normal goodness you'd expect from a GoPro and it just worked straight like that. And you'll notice that that of course is without the cable plugged in so there's no logical connection between the two. But now of course I can plug this back into here and the Volta grip is once again charging up the GoPro and going to give me much longer battery life. You can actually see on the symbol here that it is plugged in and charging. 
Now, once this is paired, it will stay paired, so you don't need to repair it even if you do the reset on the handle. Another quick trick on here as well, if you're wondering why sometimes things don't seem to work, what you need to do is to push in the battery button here to wake the volta up, then you can use the power button to turn the GoPro on. And your GoPro will start up and you're away laughing, but you need to hit the power button first, the battery button up here, to wake the Volta up so that the other commands work. So there you go, the Volta Power Grip from GoPro. Excellent thing, it's a real must have if you're running a GoPro and you don't want to be swapping the battery out quite so often. In fact, three times the battery life I think it is. And that's usually more than enough for anyone shooting at any one time on the GoPro. You can go out and do a hell of a lot of stuff with that amount of battery and um, not have to stop and take the case off and all that sort of thing. Um, like sometimes you do if you're on a decent size shoot don't forget you can uh, flip this around that way like that and pull the legs out and use it as a tripod that's my favorite bit and uh, how I'm going to be using it a lot because that means I can now sit that down on my desk like this and uh, set that up and use that as a camera for doing some of my other vlogging and things when I want something that's a bit wider lens and more mobile than my desk setup so there you go hope that's been useful if it has don't forget to click down here and subscribe you've got these two videos here to watch and there's a whole heap of other buttons down here you can click on to like and share and uh, leave a thanks and a couple of dollars to help the channel out that would be awesome don't forget to put any comments and questions down below and i'll see you in another video soon have a great day